I try to always shop locally and to buy American. But I've said on the radio that sometimes I go to big box stores. I can't make myself go to Walmart. But occasionally I go to Target if I need stuff like dishwashing detergent. That's why I was here today. It's close to my house. And I pulled up, I went in, and the nice lady at the checkout was actually a listener. But it didn't matter. She knew she was being watched by the cameras and microphones. And she just kept pushing that I get a Target card over and over again, three times. And as soon as I walked out just minutes ago, I was like, wait a minute, didn't they just have that breach of millions and millions of their Target card holders data? Didn't that just happen? And so why then are they pressuring me to get one of these? And that opens the discussion to a wider debate. Why as a country do we rely so much on the cashless society? I'm not against computers, I'm not against technology, but the way it's being deployed, especially with RFID in target cards, people can just drive by, scan it, and then steal your identity and your data. And so the more we see the adoption of RFID and credit cards and the end of cash, the worse things are gonna get. And the system's then gonna say, we need a biometric ID, face print, or thumbprint to buy or sell. And Microsoft has already admitted this. This is not my opinion. They said this a decade ago. Now it's being phased in next year where they're gonna make you thumbprint to buy and sell when you're online, not just when you come into a store. So it'll track everything you do with the NSA and these big corporations, all these people, all your habits will be given to the insurance companies, everything. It'll be a tool of social control. <clears throat> and then once they phase out cash completely, they'll be able to get rid of all underground markets and economies that are so important under a tyranny for people to survive. So that's what's going on here. And I've tried my best to warn people about this for a long time. It's not the technology's bad, but it's the way it's being implemented and engineered is designed to discredit not just cash and demonize it as dirty and connected to crime, but to also demonize the older payment systems by breaches of security. Most big breaches of security, it turns out, you can look up the statistics, are big banks, big corporations, big companies, big retailers, having people steal the data and sell it. It's as valuable as money in a bank or more. Or the companies themselves leaking it out and then just claiming that it was a breach because this has happened before. So there's a lot of other points here, obviously, but just understand this. Once they have you on an internet ID, once they have you thumbprinting on your Microsoft um, keyboards that are coming out, once you do that, they can then turn you off under SOPA and CISPA for saying that you violated copyright three times without a court or a ruling, without proof. Just say, oh, you violated our copyright. Three times you violate copyright, not of the same company, but of anybody. In a decade under the proposed laws, you're never on the internet again. Let me say that again. And you're like, well, I'll just get on the internet somebody else's computer. No, you won't because they'll be scared and say, I don't want to be kicked off the web as well. So it's a way to put people in an economic concentration camp. You make the world economically totally dependent on computers, on the cashless system, on the internet, and then you start curtailing and restricting it and using it for social control and fining and feeing people. So that's what it's about. It's about taxing the web, tracking everything you do, and then kicking you off of it if they don't like what you're saying or doing. And this is already happening to us and Target and all these big companies are nothing but social engineers dog training us in their own words to accept their system of control and the people wandering into these facilities have no idea what they're part of, no idea of the larger ramifications. Or they think, okay, the world's screwed. What do we do? I have no power. You do have power. That's why they censor that's why they shut things down. The globalists don't control the whole world. They don't control the universe outside of the atmosphere of this planet. They don't even control 
this world. They're trying to get control. They're control freaks. And those of us that aren't control freaks don't lust after power. And so we cede the world to them. We just stand down and hand it all to them. You don't have to be a control freak like they are and take over. You've got to just say no and be aware of what's happening and realize the real game isn't some video game or isn't some fantasy football. The real game is going on all around you. And it's fun to battle it. It's fun to be free. So be aware of this. Next time they tell you, hey, get the customer loyalty card, that data is being sold, it's being used, it's being tracked as a nexus point. It is valuable information. That's why they're giving you discounts for, for the information. And you are a party to your own destruction when you're part of it. And it's come out in documents that Catherine Albright and others have released and gotten that on top of all this, it gets worse. They use the data off your purchasing to have actuaries to find out what you'll buy and what you won't buy to actually increase prices and screw everybody. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv, PrisonPlanet.com. Follow us on Twitter at RealAlexJones. If you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance.